very much. Well, it's the unlikely story between two Hollywood stars and an underdog football team. I've got with me Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, the new owners of Wrexham AFC. The Wrexham Football Club was struggling and in need of a new life. Enter Hollywood stars Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. It's an underdog story and it's about interconnectivity between the club and the community. It formed the story for a behind the scenes doco on their journey to bring the team back to the Premier League. If they're successful, it will be the biggest day in the history of the town. And they did. Wrexham was promoted for the first time in 15 years. Wrexham are promoted. They have their storybook ending. And one Aussie became their star goalkeeper. Everyone's a winner, Isn't it extraordinary? It's the best story, and we're thrilled to say that Aussie Kai Calderbank Park joins us live from Wales this morning. Hey, buddy, how are you? Very good, yourself? Good, oh, we're also, Hey, congrats. Tell us, first of all, about that moment, that moment of pure joy when Wrexham got promoted. How did it all feel? Yeah, it was, uh, it was mad, to be fair, you know. Obviously, when the final whistle went, uh, everyone was expecting a pitch invasion, and obviously it did happen. So, uh, yeah, once that final whistle went, it was, uh, yeah, everyone was so happy, relieved that um, we've, we've done it. And, you know, after 15 years of the club being in the same league, what we've done is uh, exceptional. So, yeah, it was such a, such a happy moment for everyone in the town and everyone who works at Wrexham. And that's the great thing about when you watch this documentary is that these guys not only did it because they wanted to buy a team, but they wanted to help the town. And, and it's about the lifeblood of the town. And, and that's happened. But, Kai, you're not from the town. You're one of us. You're a boy from the gong. How did you wind up playing at Wrexham in Wales? Yeah, it was a bit of a mad story, to be fair. Uh, I, I lived here for... I've been here for six years now. Uh, I've been at Burnley as well. And... Uh, Long story short, I didn't have a club and I was currently living over here and one day my dad just popped in down uh, down in the town and uh, saw one of the coaches and that and uh, got chatting to him and then next thing you know, I was uh, in there about two days later and then two weeks later I got offered a contract and then, wow. yeah, the rest of the history can't be a mad story to be fair. Good but, on you, uh, Dad. Yeah. And, and what has shifted? <laughs> tell, tell us how did things shift when Ryan Reynolds... And McElhenney got involved. What changed at the club and how exciting was that for you and the rest of the squad? Yeah, I think like you said, you know, before Rob and Ryan, I think a lot of people around the world probably didn't know much about Wrexham. You know, obviously they are a big football team and that, but not as big as what they are now. And where they were and what they've been in that same league for 15 years and now to be able to get out of that league and obviously with Rob and Ryan behind our backs, it's just absolutely unbelievable, you know. They're, they're so passionate and such lovely, humble people down to earth. They care about the club so much. And it's what you want and it's what you need as a club, you know. You need them type of people to uh, help you get through and push on to the uh, bigger leagues. But, uh, yeah, having them around is is absolutely unbelievable. I love the fact that they, ha they have done this. It's such a really heartwarming show, and it, it does mean so much to you, not mm. only the team, but the town and the league. But he, they also know how to party. They just flew you all to Vegas, am I right? Yeah, I mean, literally landed this, I landed back this morning about 7 a.m. We were there for about five days. Wow. Okay. Just partying with Hollywood. Look, how look, how he, that? look how he just stops talking, though, because what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But here's what I'm hoping, man, is that there were cameras there to film for season two. Believe it or not, there actually... I don't, there wasn't. I don't think there was. No, there, was, there wasn't to be fair. I think once we, uh, once we got promoted and, the, the, you know, we had our final game and we, had, we celebrated and stuff down at Wrexham at the ground, I think after that is when it sort of... It cut off, and you know that's probably season two done in there. But uh, but no, it was unbelievable. You know to go to Vegas and celebrate with uh, with all the lads and Rob was there as well. It was unbelievable. Well, there's still a lot of promotions to go, yeah. but you're back, and it's a great feeling. Kai, everyone in Australia is proud of you, mate. Kai. Good on you. No, thank you. Much appreciated. It means a lot. Yeah, you know, I do miss the. Uh, the gong in that back home, but uh, no, it, it does mean a lot. Well, you're doing something pretty special over there. So good on you. We look forward to chatting to you again soon. Take yeah, care. Man. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and...
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?